Hi boys, Doc. This is our super cool FW19. This is a plane made by Dyna, and we bought it at Nitro Planes for about $120. And the molds to make this plane must have been awesome, because it's really a beautiful scale model. This was one of the last radio motor fighters designed. When this plane was designed, they were going into more of inline motors. Planes like the P-51, very aerodynamic. This is one of the last radio fighters. The person that came up with the paint job on this fighter did an amazing job. Oftentimes you can look in the nature of how to do something. And we're pretty sure whoever designed the paint on this plane loved to fish because they, this plane in the sky looks like the sunnies that we caught this summer. Really, the camel stain on this plane is a sunfish. Especially a pumpkin seed. And the sunfish have to survive in the water by eating bigger fish and finding food. And just about everything wants to eat a sunfish. So they have to hide in the water. So the air is just like water, so these guys can really hide in the air and they're hard to see. Um, and if you look on the camel on this plane, it's just like a sunfish. It's dark on the top, so if you're down below and another fish is looking up from above, you're hard to see in the bottom. If the plane's above you and you're down below next to the earth, this plane is really hard to see. Here's a fish from the top looking down. If you're on the side, you want a little blue, but not all blue. On this one, it's blue and green. Just like a sunny. And if the predator is down below looking up, you want a light surface, so you look at the sky or the brighter water. If it's a sunfish or the top of the water. There's three sets of camouflage on this plane. The bottom, the middle, and the top. The pumpkin seed sunfish has a little yellow chin and has a little, little yellow spot under his chin, right here, it's kind of light. And look at this spot right here. So on this plane, it has a little yellow chin as well. But the pumpkin seed sunfish also has a little black, black tab by its gill, and these are like gills, and they're black, same spot. It's just amazing. So the exhaust port is like a little black tab. So we think the person who designed the paint job and the looks of this plane like sunfish and fishing. We know the camouflage works really well. Steve and Denise at Killer Planes had their ME262 out. And the camouflage is similar to that on that plate. And Steve had overshot the runway, and he was pulling out, and there were trees out there. So it was like looking at a sunfish from the top. And Steve lost it and crashed his plane, but that moment was just so cool. And that's a perfect example of how this camouflage worked. So go flying and fishing and have fun. First it up.